And, all right, I got a $27 Harbor Freight Axe. How does it compare to a $145 North Point Axe? Uh, axe. <clears throat> Quick, oops, sorry. This is this is an American filling axe from Harbor Freight. It was 27 bucks, and today we're going to be comparing it to so like I think it's 145 dollars, but don't quote me on that. I checked before I came down here. This is a, a custom hand fitted axe, uh, custom handmade axe from NorthPointAxe.com. It's my buddy Adam. This is his company. Uh, he, he makes axes. He makes historical. That's what this is about. He makes historical axes. When he first started, he was making Viking axes. He started branching out. This is sort of his uh, his top of the line premier Black Forest axe. It's probably not completely fair to compare this to this, uh, but we're going to. Real quick, the difference is obviously this is a double bit. Uh, you can call it a main double bit. Some people call it a cruising axe. This is an American felling axe. Uh, this is a much purer sort of lumberjack axe. This is the axe you might use if you were a, a full-time lumberjack out cutting all day long. Straight handle and the balanced head makes it much easier to, to swing all day long. If you just had to go bash down a tree as quick as possible, you would use the American felling axe. Uh, purpose made, developed here in America over about a century. Uh, for just putting a tree on the ground as quick as a tree can be put on the ground with an axe. It's a four and a half pound head versus a 3.8 pound head. Uh, this is a much pure, just knock a tree down. This is a much more balanced, uh, all day work in implement. Uh, if you could only have one axe, it would probably be this one. Uh, but anyway, so it's not quite a fair, a fair comparison. All right, first off, you can see I already started. <laughs> That's because we, we did this video once already and uh, it was too long. So we're trying to do it again real quick. So here we go. Here's what you get with the $27 axe. Now they're both hickory handles. This is a main hickory because that's where Adam makes his axes at. This axe was made in India, so I don't know where this hickory comes from. It says it's genuine hickory. For all I know, that's they renamed some tree in India. But I was really impressed. The grain is perfect. That's exactly how you want grain to run. It's not as easy to see on Adam's, but his is also really, really good on this one. This is preternaturally perfect. Uh, I was really shocked. That's the last good thing I can say about this handle though, because they wanted to make it out of a single board. This is my supposition. What they did is to, to make it, not make it look really chintzy. They made it really wide. So it's really narrow and it's really wide and it, it doesn't work. Now I have kind of smallish hands, but I actually prefer a thicker handle. Uh, the last video I made a joke. I like my handles like I like my women. It's not funny the second time, but you're hearing it for the first time. Uh, so I actually like a thicker handle, and this one makes my hands want to vomit in their mouths. Uh, because it's so wide, or so long, and so narrow, you don't get any, you know, your, your, your hand is not flat in any way. So you're not getting any good contact on the sides, and all this contact on the front and back. And it's actually uncomfortable when you're swinging, when you're chopping, you kind of feel it. Uh, also the pommel, which is supposed to kind of help you grip and not slip out, is flat. It's supposed to swell on all sides. Uh, this is gonna. This is a handle that's going to contribute to hand fatigue. Uh, it really was a poor decision. I know they saved money, and it made it look good. It, it's a good looking handle if you just glanced at it, but it actually has much less functionality. Whereas you look at this handle, it's actually not as uh, thick. Obviously, it's obviously nowhere near as wide, uh, and it's not even that much thicker. Although it is a little thicker, actually, it, it is thicker. But because it's rounded. You get much more contact with your hands on the handle. It's a much, much more pleasant handle to, to grip and to swing with. And, and when, you, when you strike, when you impact, you don't feel, with, with this one, you kind of feel this, it's, it's hard to explain, but, but you feel this heightened shock to your hands, this impact on your, on your fingers and the back of your palm there that you don't feel with this one. Uh, part of that is, well, it's just, it's just that this handle was stupid. It's narrow and it's wide and uh, it was a ridiculous choice. But I uh, <laughs> almost went and got a new tree because I didn't want you guys to think I was cheating. I don't, I don't remember how long we chopped on this one. It wasn't very long. But let me kind of show you the advantage of the American felling axe and this four and a half pound head. Yeah, well, we've done all we can on that one. It thunks really, really hard. When you hit, it hits. But you can feel these impacts 
in your hands. And it's not like it's painful or anything, but you can just tell this is a stupid handle that's gonna hurt your, not hurt your hands, but reduce the amount of time you can swing. This might go the wrong way. Uh, you better come over here. Which one? Over here. Whereas opposed to Adam's axe, this handle just feels right in your hand and you can tell you would work all day long. And you can even kind of tell as I hit, I'm hitting with more, well not that time, with more accuracy. Drama. Yeah. So, holy, come on. I'll leave these things in so you men can see them. So, the difference between a $145 axe and a $27 axe is huge in price. And it's not like you can't cut a tree down with this. But trust me, men, having swung both, and it's not like it's not a completely fair comparison because they're such two different axes. I'd be interested to see what Adam could do with a felling axe, uh, I bet it'd be pretty nice. Spend the money, go get a decent axe. If you're gonna be working all day, or if you're gonna be relying on that axe to cut a lot of trees, go get a nice axe. You will be able to work much longer. You'll be able to work much more accurately. Uh, uh, there's a whole lot of things about the head. That if a cheap head, this one's not bad. But you know, if they're off a little bit, your accuracy sucks. Accuracy is way more important than power. Go get a nice axe. It is, I don't make a lot of money and I got a lot of kids. Even if I was buying that ax, to me, that $145 ax is, is well worth it over this $27 ax. Men, we appreciate you, thank you. Gets to do all the hard work. Oh, not me.